Hey everybody, it's Merkel, and today I'm going to show you how to get the Woolomancer's Charge, which is the Arcane Hidden Artifact Appearance. Now, the first part of this is um, a little sheeping game, and what you're going to do is you need to have Artifact Knowledge level 6, which you can see I'm 12. It's not necessary that you be level 6, though, when you do this. You can do this immediately, but the next part of the quest can't happen until you're Artifact Knowledge level 6. So it's not that um, big of a rush that you do this immediately. But if you want to get out of the way and you happen to be near these mobs at some point in time, there's no harm in doing it. Now, there's five different monsters you have to sheep to get this uh, um, working. And the uh, it doesn't matter which order you do these either. But one of the first ones is located right here. It's called a cliff, cliff Wing Hippogriff. And uh, all you do is sheep it. That's it. You don't need any other magical anything. Just sheep it and you can move to the next one. So I'm going to walk over there and meet you there. Okay, for another thing you need to sheep, you need to sheep one of these wild dream runners. I'm right here in Valshara. So you can come to Garden the Moon. Just walk a little bit south and sheep that. Then head to our next monster. Alright, the next thing you can sheep Again, this doesn't have to be in any specific order, but is a high peak goat. Um, I'm right here because I have the Iron Grove Enclave High Mountain flight path, so it's really fast to get up here real quick to him if you want. There'll be one running around up here. I sheep him. There we go. Now, in the case that maybe you don't have the Iron Grove Enclave flight path, you could just come from Thunder Totem and run around here. And then come up this way. Oh, excuse me. It's like this, I think. Right there. Come like that and then come up the mountain. You'll find them along the way up the mountain too. So it's not necessary that you come all the way to here to do it. But I had the flight path. That's the only reason I lie. So I'm going to go to the next one. And I'll see you in a second. Alright, now you need to head to Suramar. Uh, right over here in the Crimson Thicket. You're going to want to sheep one of these heartwood does. They'll be walking around really, really close to the fly pass, so you don't have to worry about looking very far. And then you can go to the final thing you need to sheep. The final thing you need to sheep is one of these calves located right here. And you're going to give him a sheep. And you'll be done with this part. Now, assume you're already artifact knowledge level 6 after you start doing this. Every time you teleport to your class order hall every day. You have a chance for the event to pop. Um, if you happen to have sheeped any of these and you're concerned that maybe you forgot one, I will put a link in the description. It's a macro you can run. And it will tell you true if you have sheeped the monster you have to in each of these zones. As you can see, I've already sheeped everything, so it says true on all of them. So, after this... You move on to the next part, which is completely out of your ability to control, so just pray to RNGesus. Jesus. Alright, for this step, it can take a very long time. There's a rare chance every day when you teleport to your class order hall, the volatile sheep will spawn. You click on him a bunch. Ah! Finally! <laughs> and then extremely volatile Stormheim sheep gets upset. And then you can um, go make him explode. So we're going to head to him in Stormheim. You see it says Stormheim. And then we're going to go make him blow up. So I'll be there shortly and show you the next step. Alright, so after running around Stormheim for a bit, I used a macro called slash target volatile, extremely volatile sheep. Uh, I started in Valdistel and I just ran up this way and kept running around using it because it can spawn in all kinds of different locations over here from what I've seen. Um, but I eventually found him right here, as you can see. And in the same same order, we just click him up a few times, he'll explode, and it says Enraged Volatile Elwyn Sheep. So now we're going to head there and uh, finish this bad boy up. Alright, so we're here at the Tower of Azora. And we're going to go meet Coach Shepherd Metcalf. Now, he will talk to you. I, I forgot to mention, on the part where you're waiting for the sheep to spawn in your class order hall, he will message you if, uh, if it spawns. He'll just get a thing that says, Coach Shepherd Metcalf 
success. He'll say success, and that means the sheep is now available for you in case you don't see the sheep when you spawn teleport there. But the staff came to life. I must discover how it works. You've lost your mind, Shepard. Only a few more sheep. I'm so close to unlocking the mysteries of this artifact. And then... Oh no, sheep. <laughs> you can do this part in, in any uh, spec or whatever you happen to be. I'm mostly fire, so I'm just going to do it as fire. And then more sheep. <laughs> Couple waves of very upset sheep. That explode on impact. More sheep? Oh yeah, more sheep. It looks like the waves increase with every set of sheep. see the suicide cheat bomber rest in peace Johnny oh. I guess now we gotta beat up old old coat here who likes turning families into sheep. And you receive the Woolamancer's Charge. The man who loves to make people sheep. Which is the arcane hidden artifact skin. There you go. it doing that okay well there it is the woolamancer's charge sheep staff bah. anyways thank you all for watching hope this was helpful i'll see you again soon bye bye